Thank you so much, TJ. Good morning to the citizens of Douglas County and also good morning to the Board of Commissioners. We will call this April 12th, 2021 special call a meeting to order. It is now 10 o'clock and uh, certainly I'm calling this meeting to order and uh, it is my understanding from our attorney Bernard that we need to go into executive session board of commissioners. So uh, if there's no discussion before I call uh, the motion, are there any questions or any discussion? If not, yes, uh, Madam but, Chair, uh, Madam yeah. Chair you, will, we, you will need it for litigation and real estate. Okay, thank you so much. Vice Chairman Robinson, do you have a comment before I call the motion? Yeah, the question was to ask, do we least still need to extend um, public comment? This is a public meeting, did it have an agenda? It has an agenda, but it doesn't have, um, Lisa, you, we probably left that off and it probably was not um, intentional. So what I'll do, uh, certainly, do we have anyone sign up for public comment, Lisa? Thank you so much, Vice Chairman. No, ma'am, we don't. And normally, if it's a special called meeting, we don't we don't include the public comment okay. section. Okay, thank you. All right. With that being said, with that being said, Board of Commissioners, do we have a motion to go into executive session? So moved. Do we have a second? We have a motion. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. Any discussion? We have a just motion. One, and a second. Just one, uh, yes. one, one mm -hmm. discussion, though, Madam Chair. Uh, yes. I'm just saying for the public record that we should have actually asked that Lisa Watson ask where anybody on the line to do public comment before we come in. Beyond that, I mean, uh, not knowing that uh, no one had actually signed up, but it could have been somebody on the line just in case, just for, since you acknowledged that you was giving public comment. So. Okay, point well taken, Commissioner. Okay, we have a motion and a second, and um, any, any other discussion? We have a motion, and when I call your district, please respond accordingly. District one. Uh, yes. District two. Yes. District three. Yes. <laughs> district four. Yes. Chairman, yes, we have a 5-0 unanimous vote and the motion carries. With that being said, uh, Board of Commissioners, we will take instructions from our clerk at this time. Lisa, would you provide instructions for us? Thank you. Um, yes, we. if you can all just hang up from this call and I will call you back in on a different number. Thank you. But stay connected to Teams. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you so much, TJ, and uh, thank you again, uh, board, um, the citizens of Douglas County, for your patience. And Board of Commissioners, we are back in um, session, and I appreciate you all again attending this uh, commission meeting today, this special call meeting. And uh, certainly, um, we had discussion about a possible annexation. And certainly, want to allow the Board of Commissioners to just, if you had some remarks or want to weigh in, uh, and certainly we have a voting item today, which is a new uh, business item. So, Board of Commissioners, do you have any remarks, anything you would like to make before I go forward? Okay. We have a new business item, Board of Commissioners, and this business item is to authorize the county attorney or his designee to file written requests for a meeting with the city of Chattahoochee regarding the proposed Fox Hall annexation. Do we have a motion to approve? To move. Do we have a second? Yes. Second. Okay, we have a motion and a second. We have a motion and a second. Any discussion? We have a motion and a second. When I call your district, please respond. Right here for the record, one thing, Madam Chair. Yes. We're doing this out of an abundance of precaution, but preserving our statutory notice requirements, as we don't believe we've been properly served in accordance with the statute. But this authorization is 15 within 15 days of the date of the letter from Chattahoochee Hills, which was March 31st. Although it's not been properly uh, served, we're taking this step and preserving 
uh, any and all defenses in connection with the letter if and when y'all approve the notice letter. Thank you. Okay, thank you so much, uh, legal counsel. Board of Commissioners, we have a motion and a second on the table, and there appear to be no discussion. Yes, so Madam Chair. Um, Vice Chairman Robinson, you have the floor. Yeah, I did. Um, as, as a condition, um, one, um, along with this, I'd like to have a meeting uh, with our uh, joint meeting with our development authority. Two, I would like to also um, place our financial advisor on standby if need be um, through an expanded scope of work for analysis on this. And I'm just going to leave it with those um, two conditions at this point. Okay. Madam Clerk, did you get that? Yes, sir, I did. Okay. I yield, Madam Chair. Thank you. All right. Thank you so much, Vice Chairman, for those conditions. Any other Board of Commissioners, any other remarks? We have a motion and a second on the floor. And I call your district. Please respond accordingly. Is District 1 with us? No, ma'am. He's still, I've been trying to call him both ways and I can't get him. Okay. District 2? Yes. District 3? Yes. District 4? Yes. Chairman, yes. We have a 4-0 unanimous vote and the motion carries. All right, Board of Commissioners, we have any other business to come before this body? Okay, if, if, there are no, uh, if there's nothing else to come before this Board of Commissioners, this meeting is adjourned and thank you so much.